Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we have another stunning unit preview, roster preview for you for RIS version 0.6. And today we are doing the roster of Syracuse. Yes, the Sicilian uh, Syracusan Greek colony out there in Sicily. And today we're going to be looking at the full unit roster, going through it all as usual. But first things first, let's talk about the historic note that we've been given by Mouse Loss this time. So thank you to him and the mod team once again. But Syracuse at the time was under the control of many different tyrants. Mainly the Hiro II, who ruled from 275 to 215 BC. So a long rule, which is very rare at the time in these sort of Greek, um, these Greek nations, these Greek city-states. Um, he modelled the army after the style that was prevalent in many of the other Hellenistic kingdoms. Strong, heavy cavalry, which we'll go through uh, in a little bit. Thorakitai and a diverse range of light infantry, which is all these light um, sort of missile troops over here. And he included the native Sicels, which we have over here as well as part of the army. And also, he tried to increase the training of the Neoi and the Ephebes, which also is shown over here, uh, who were the uh, teenage sons of wealthy citizens who could form their own regiments in battle. So here we have them, the Neon... Uh, the Neon... The Neoniskoi! <laughs> My pronunciation is fantastic, as we can always, uh, as you can always tell. Uh, but yes, that is the historical note on this unit roster. So we have a large amount of light infantry, less infantry, and some strong heavy cavalry as well. But first things first, let's start going through the roster, and we're going to go through. Like we've done before, starting with the missile troops, I'm not going to linger too much on these three first missile troops because we've gone through them many times before, but we're going to have a look at them nonetheless. And of course, purple is the main sort of theme here with the Syracusan units. Very, very nice indeed. Bum bags at the ready for the Greek slingers. As we've talked about before, morale of three, melee attack of four, missile attack of four with a missile range of 140 and 32 little stones to fire at the enemy. Total defense of seven, like we've talked about. I would probably always take the Greek archers over them, but let's have a look at these boys now coming onto the Greek archers. Very nice. Purple is one of my favorite colors, so I love the look of the purple and the blue mixed in there. Very, very cool indeed. And uh, these guys ready to go, as usual, but a total defense of 9, morale of 4, melee attack of 5, and a missile attack of 6, with a 130 range and 25 arrows to fire into the enemy. I'm always going to take these over the Greek slingers, um, just because they're better in pretty much every way. That 2 extra missile attack is not to be scoffed at. When you think about that over the course of, say, 10 arrows... It's another 200 damage per unit, per single person, should I say, in the unit. That's kind of crazy. So I would take the Greek archers every time, unless you're looking to garrison places or you're looking to defend uh, a city. These guys might be better just because of the have more ammo and more range. But that's about it. So, on to the uh, standard Akontistai, the, uh, the um, missile Javi troops that we have over here. And they're a decent Akantistai, decent Javi units at the start of the game. 12 defense, only one of which is armor, so they will die to missiles very quickly. 11 defense skill and a morale of six, so they're not gonna run straight away when they hear the enemy hooves. But when the enemy hooves get about, you know, 20 meters away, that's when they might start running. Uh, but yeah, morale of six, melee attack of six, which obviously is not great, but a missile attack of nine with ammo of 7 and a missile range of 60. So, plenty uh, plenty of damage they're going to be able to output. Fine unit, uh, but yeah, fine unit. As I say, I'm not huge with missile uh, Javi units early game, uh, but if you like Javi units, these are plenty good enough for you to deal some damage into the enemy, of course. Now, let's move on to the, some of the Sicels, the native Syracusans. Over here, the uh, the Sicel Peltaforoi. Very, very cool unit. We also have Uzonoi over here as well, which is the Hellenistic version um, of these guys. So pretty similar in terms of their stats. 
but a good, really good, in fact, Javi unit here. Yeah, really, really good. When you compare the stats, look at them. They are hugely better for the Cicel Peltafori. We've got 12 morale rather than 6, double the amount of the morale of the Acontistae. Melee attack of 8 and a total defense of 20 because they have a shield and they have more defense skill. So that 5 defense against missiles is going to defend them a little bit against missiles. Not a huge amount though, but I love the look on these shields. Look at them. These little tiny shields that they've got um, with the alphas on and all that sort of thing. Uh, and yeah, looking very nice indeed. I can't see, I think, yeah, we've got the Syracuse in three legs there. Or what I like to call the Isle of Man. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if you get that, you're probably British. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's very nice indeed. Looking absolutely stunning. And I love the blues and the purples once again brought through these guys looking very cool indeed but let's talk about the stats 20 defense like we've talked about not a huge amount of defense against missiles but 15 defense skills nothing to sniff at a missile attack of nine so just the same missile attack as the acontistai the same amount of javis as well and a melee attack of eight which is not good but it's fine, and the morale of 12 means these guys are going to stick around a little bit longer. As I say, I wouldn't get these guys into melee if I can help it. But if you have to, if you absolutely have to, then you may have to get them into melee to fight. And they're going to do okay. They're certainly going to do a lot better than the Acontistai, or better than your archers or your slingers over there. Looking very nice indeed. So, a great unit, a really, really good unit, especially early game, and you like Java units. So, let's move on to the Uzonoi, and pretty much, they are just the same. There's more of the Uzonoi, though, so they're going to be able to output more damage, because they have the same amount of ammo, seven. That says six, I know, but that's because of the two officers in this unit. <clears throat> But yeah, so they have seven Javis, but there's more of them. So they're going to be able to output more damage. 21 defense compared to 20, uh, of which that's an extra armor and extra shield. So less defense skill. So they're going to do a lot better against missiles. Eight defense against missiles, which is fine. And a morale of 13 rather than 12 and a melee attack of eight. Same missile damage, of course, but better morale and better defense. So these guys are just better overall than the Cicel Peltafori. Uh, a really good unit. In fact, a really, really good Javi unit. And this is going to last you all game. A really decent Javi unit that's going to output a lot of damage. As soon as you get some experience on these guys, remember, this missile attack starts catapulting upwards and you're going to do exponentially more and more damage as they get more and more experience. And as we can tell looking at them, they've got that extra helmet. They've got that little bit of extra armor, which the Cicel Peltaforoi don't have. Um, looking very nice. Got the Theroparoi style shields as well. Very cool. Um, I believe, is that called the Thurios? Thurios shield? Someone comment down below in the description. I'm sure someone will uh, correct me when I'm wrong, which I'm wrong very, very often when it comes to all this sort of stuff. But I love the look of these boys. And you can kind of tell that they're going to be a lot better in melee. They've got the capes, so we know they're semi-elite. Not all of them have capes, so we know they're semi-elite, but an elite Javi unit nonetheless. Very nice. Now, let's come to one of our fantastic archer units that are available across the Hellenistic Kingdoms now. Very, very, very good unit. And look how good these guys look. With the Linothorax on, so we know they're armored. Looking absolutely fantastic. And again, these little details just make all the difference. If I don't uh, get the yellow over them again. But look at that. Little bit of um, little bit of detail. Difference in detail there. Then we've got the, uh, the sandals. And then we've got proper sandals. And then we've got, yeah, just the different details again. The different colors and designs on each linothorax. Makes them feel so unique, honestly, so unique. Very nice indeed. Look fantastic, this unit. Really good. The Syracusan Neoniskoi. So these are the rich sons of uh, rich people 
who want to form their own battle regiment. 14 morale, which is fantastic for a missile unit. Do not sleep on that 14 morale. It is very, very good. 12 melee attack. That is nothing to sniff at at all when we consider that the Syracusan Hoplites have 13 missile attack. 25 defense, five of which is armor. So not a huge amount of defense against missiles apart from that little bit of armor. So I try and avoid getting these guys into, uh, uh, into missile fire if you can. But 20 defense skill is fantastic. Really good for a missile unit. And a melee attack of 12. Again, nothing to sniff at. Missile attack of 9 with 24 missiles and 130 missile range. The only thing that could make these guys better is having longer missile range. But I don't think it's strictly needed. That extra 30 meters, if we look at their range here, would probably take them to about, about here. So yeah, it does make a little bit of a difference, but a fantastic missile unit nonetheless. And as we look at the design there, I believe... They wield spears as their secondary weapon. I mean, I can't see it on them. Have they got a scabbards? No, but looking at it, it looks like they will wield spears as their secondary weapon. But a really, really good missile unit for these boys. Really, really good indeed. And look at them. They look absolutely fantastic once again. Right. Let's move on to our two units of infantry that we have available to us. We have the Syracusan Hoplites and we have the Sicel Theroporoi. So let's start with the Syracusan Hoplites. And this is kind of a unique Hoplite unit in a lot of senses. And just look down the line there, looking very nice indeed. Kind of a unique. And look at the shields. They look fantastic. I think out of all the shields, I had a little look before... I like the one with the... I mean, I love all the ones with the legs. They are fantastic. But, yeah, the the, uh, the chariot one here, looking very nice indeed. Look at the detail on that shield. Oh, my days. That is just crazy, the amount of detail. Those little lines on that shield to build up the character. I also really like this one as well. Very nice indeed. And, again, how fantastic do these guys look? The different variations in their um, in their linothoraxes, in their shields, in everything they're wearing, just makes them look so good. Uh, and again, we do have a more predominant blue and purple theme throughout these guys as well, but a few greens uh, mixed in, greens and reds mixed in there as well. But a great unit, this guy. Let's let's have a look at the stats. Thirty-seven defense, which is about normal for a. Um, Oplite unit with a morale of 13 and a melee attack of 13. But the thing that kind of sets these guys apart from a lot of the other Hoplite units we've seen so far is that they, in fact, have two Javis ready to throw into the enemy before charging. Normally something reserved just for the Theroporoi. But no, they do have it as well. So nice little addition to this Hoplite unit. And I can tell you're going to need it because you're going to be fighting the Romans as Syracuse. So, yeah, you're going to need those extra Javi damage to kill the enemy. Yeah, really, really, really important for you there. And just look at these guys. They look fantastic. So, a great uh, great Hoplite unit with a bit of extra a bit of extra damage there with those Javis ready to throw into the enemy. 8 shield and 7 armor, so they won't die to missiles very quickly. And 22 defense skill. A great unit. A good early game unit that you're going to be using a lot of. So, on to the Sicel Theroporoi. So, the native uh, Sicilians have this Theroporoi unit. And again, looking stunning, looking fantastic. And we have a lot of nautical themes with Syracuse, of course, uh, being in on the island of Sicily, relying a lot on trade. So we have a lot of uh, dolphins and that sort of thing looking absolutely beautiful. There's the dolphin, another dolphin, lots of dolphins, dolphin designs on those shields there. Very cool indeed. I love these uh, these little shields with the uh, sort of half plume, without the plume on, but got the uh, the sort of mohawk there, looking very cool. Very nice looking unit once again. But these guys, slightly less defense than the uh, hoplites, like we've seen, but more morale. So 15 morale and slightly less melee attack as well. So 
And they also have slightly less missile attack with that Javi. Uh, and a lot of that, all that defense loss is all from their shield. So a slightly less defensive shield that they've got there. But yeah, a fantastic uh, early game unit again. Gonna throw their javis into the enemy before charging. And again, you're gonna need it. So your real big trade-off here is between whether you want the higher morale of the Theroperoi or you want the higher defense and attack of the Hoplites. Honestly, I would probably take the Hoplites over the Theroperoi early game. Just because, yeah, you're... I think you'll be able to handle the morale against the Romans. It's more that defensive skill and getting less damage done to you by those really powerful Roman units early game that is going to be more important, I think, than the morale, especially if you have a general that has a lot of influence, of course. So a good unit, good early game unit, very, very cool looking as well. That's probably one of my favorite looks of the day, looking very, very nice. Right. So, on to the... Should we go to the post-reform infantry, then? So, we have one unit available to us post-reform, and it is the Thoracitae. And these guys do look mean and ready to go. The Syracusan Thoracitae. And these are your elite infantry. 16 morale, 12 melee attack, and 35 defense. They're pretty much just a better version of the Theroperoi there, as we can see. So they've got a bit better armor and a bit better shield, but less defense skill. And they've got one more morale and one more missile attack as well. So that extra missile attack and that extra morale means they're going to sit in the fight for a lot longer. And they're going to do more and more damage. Still less melee attack than the Syracuse and Hoplites. But yeah, they're going to do some plenty enough damage in the fight as well. They don't have a... It isn't effective against armor, are they? No, I thought this, uh, their swords might be effective against armor, but yeah, they are a very, very mean looking unit. The best looking unit, I think, in this roster, definitely. Look at these boys, they look fantastic. But again, I think when you're playing Syracuse, you're going to have to rely a lot on your missile troops. As you can see, you have a lot more missile troops than you do options available to you as infantry troops. And these guys, honestly, these infantry troops... Are not going to stand up to the Romans. Like, it, in a one-to-one -one fight where you're not using missile troops, they're not going to stand up to the Romans. So you need to make that fight as beneficial as possible to yourself by whittling down the enemy early on. And if I was going to create a Syracusan unit roster, uh, and I liked Javi troops, okay? That's the, that's, the, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the caveat there. I'd probably take four Uzono, four Syracusan Niskoi, and then we're taking the infantry as well uh, with four or five of the cavalry units. So a big heavy emphasis on the missile troops. And that's what I love about this mod. It forces you to kind of make, you know, your army can't just be the same per the, each nation that you play. You can change it around. Uh, you have to change it around depending on the nation you play. Because obviously if you play a nation and you don't have the troops available to you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe, melee wise with another nation then find the troops that are gonna make you beat them and in this case in Syracuse's case we have very strong cavalry which we're going to cover in a second but we've also got very nice light infantry and light uh, archers and missile troops that are going to do some really decent damage against those Roman troops before they get to you honestly I don't think there are many nations that can stand up to the Romans toe-to-toe -to -toe in melee Probably the Celtic factions, but that's about it. So, the Syracuse and Thoracitae, good unit, going to do a lot of damage going through into the late game. So, let's move on to the cavalry. And first of all, let's start with our Syracusan General's Bodyguard. Look at these boyos. Actually, a blue theme on these guys, looking very cool indeed. And they've got their little tassels around them. I... What does that actually attach to? I was wondering whether that attached to the horse so you couldn't lose your horse. But I was thinking, yeah, if you fell off, you would get dragged to death. <laughs> so, yeah, probably not a great idea. Uh, but, yeah, 18 morale, 29 defense, 14 melee attack and 14 alt attack with a charge of 47. Standard when it comes to the Greek general's bodyguards. Very, very strong 
indeed. Very nice for the charge. As I said, you've only got 13 of these guys, so you want to use those that, that mass of body uh, of horses to charge as much as possible. Use that 47 charge as much as possible as you can 11 of their defense is armor so they're not going to die to missiles too much but i try and keep them out of missile fire as much as possible just because they don't have a shield so you want to charge them in and get as much damage into the enemy as possible and then we also have the standard prodromoy again going back to the purple and blues looking very very cool indeed so we've got our prodromoy here 12 total defense three of which is armor uh, which is actually quite interesting. So they've only got three defense against missiles. So again, you don't want to get them into missile uh, into missile fire. A charge of 27, however, is never something to sniff at. With a morale of 9, which is fine. A melee attack of 10, which is okay. And a missile attack of 9, which is good. So again, if you like missile cavalry. If you like missile cavalry, then use these guys. Because they are decent. They're going to do a lot of damage early game. Uh, while you're waiting for your post-reform troops. So let's move on to the Syracusan Heavy Cavalry. Oh, sorry. The Syracusan Cavalry, which are Heavy Cavalry. And look at these boys. That helmet is fantastic. Look at these boys. They've got their capes, so we know they're elite. And they look stunning once again. That Linothorax is beautiful. Look at all the different uh, designs over here. As I say, I love these uh, helmets with the wreaths around them. But again, they just look absolutely fantastic. And uh, let's have a look at their stats, though. And it is really, really good stats. Talking 16 morale, which is really good. 11 melee attack and an alt attack of 13. With a charge of 40, guys. And I think that is the highest charge I have seen on a Greek um, cavalry unit that's not a general so far, I believe, in all the rosters. And apart from cataphracts, of course, guys, apart from cataphracts. Uh, but yeah, 40 charge, guys, is really good. Really, really good. And 11 armor is fine, but I, again, they don't have a shield. And that 11 armor will get whittled down by missile. So try and keep them out of missile fire with a defense skill of 18. Now... That 40 charge uh, is backed up by a melee attack of 11, which isn't great, but it's pretty standard for a lot of these heavy cavalry units. Uh, but you want to get them in, uh, in and charging and using that 40 charge as much as possible. But the interesting thing here is, with that defense skill of 18 and total defense of 29, and the alt attack of actually 13, these guys are going to be able to do both. Most of the time, what we've seen with the cavalry is... That they're either a charge cavalry or they're a, they're a slice and dice cavalry. And most of the time, they're charge cavalry. But these guys can do both. These guys can definitely do both. That 40 charge is fantastic. They're going to do a very good charge. But an alt attack of 13 for a cavalry unit in this mod, guys, is really, really good. With a morale of 16 and total defense of 29, which is really good again. They are going to be able to slice and dice their way through uh, enemy Zistaphori, enemy cavalry, as well as charging into them and breaking enemy lines. A really, really solid cavalry unit that's going to be solid throughout the game. So if you get your hands on these guys early, then I would do so if I was you playing Syracuse. A very nice unit indeed. What, am I, uh, what a really versatile unit there for a heavy cavalry unit. Now we move on to the Theroperoi Cavalry, guys. Your post-reform cavalry. And look at those shields. Very nice. Very cool. And uh, these guys are pretty much your upgraded Prodromoi. So, let's have a look at the Prodromoi there. Yeah, you can see 13 morale versus 9. 17 defense versus 12. And, uh, yeah, whoop. And then the same melee and the same missile attack. Now, most of that extra defense is from their six shield that they now have. So, unlike the Prodromoi, these guys have a shield as well. But they have the same armor and defense skill. Um, and, yeah, a good unit. 30 charge as well compared to the 27 of the Prodromoi. But, yeah, a good, really good missile Javi Cav unit. That 17 defense means you're not going to want to get them into melee very often. But with the 30 charge 
And the morale of 13 now, you can. That is the versatility that these guys offer. The Prodromoi, pretty much, if you get them in melee, they just run away. So, whereas these guys, they're going to actually be able to do a few charges. However, like I say, Missile Cav's never the one you want to get into your into the melee. So, probably don't try not to get them into melee as much as possible. <laughs> but yeah, they are a great versatile little unit there. They're going to be able to fire the Javis and do a little bit of damage in melee uh, with their charges rather than just doing melee or just doing missile. So, that is the Syracusan unit roster, guys. And we have a sneak preview of who we're going to be covering next, the Boeotian League. So, let's get into the battle. Of course, if you want to skip this part you can do but please do like and subscribe if you got to this point and you enjoyed the unit roster comment down below of course this is a bit of an experiment if you guys uh, have enjoyed watching this please do comment down below which your favorite looking unit out of the syracusan roster was which was your favorite unit uh, and that'll be really really cool so comment that down below that'll be fantastic and anyone who wants to skip this battle of course can so, thank you to all those who are signing off now. Now, let us... So, the Boeotians actually have a bit of a stronger infantry roster than we do. So, we're going to have to do some dodgy maneuvers, I think, to try and win this battle. So, let's uh, keep coming forward. Let's get these guys trying to harangue the enemy. Harangue? Harass the enemy. Now, what do they have up here? They've got their Prodromoi and Zista 4, right? I don't really want to face that Prodromoi with my good cavalry because that's pretty much all I've got. All right, let's keep coming forward. You guys keep firing. Ideally, I'd like you to be able to fire on those boys. Should be able to fire those Javis now, boys. Come forward. These guys are fire. Oh, look at that. The Theroparoi getting a bit of damage. Everyone's firing their Javis now. Ideally into the Pelter for it. So, uh, I haven't uh, added all of the... Uh, I haven't added every single one of the, uh, the Boeotian units. Just because they have a bit of a larger roster. So, it would have been... Uh, Pretty in, uh, unbalanced if I'd added them all. So there are a few units missing, but you'll get to see them next time. So here our... Okay, the Zista 4 have gone in for a charge. So I think it's our turn to shine. Okay, these guys are going for... Uh, why are the Theroparoi going for my Niskoi? Let's actually... Okay. Oh, who was that? Greek General's Bodyguard. They have charged my Theroparoi. Let's charge in there with the Prodromoi. I know the Prodromoi are not uh, the best for the charge. But like we said, we can get them in the charge and then get them out. Like we've done before. But look at that. They just crumble, even charging into the back of the enemy. But the Theroparoi cavalry, again, doing a lot better job than the Prodromoi on the charge that we've seen before there. Okay. Now that, I missed that. The Prodromoi here have actually just hemmed us in. How did they catch us? We, we went for the charge and they caught us in the back. That's kind of mad. I was not expecting that. That's a bit annoying because my Syracusan... Uh, my Syracusan guys, uh, cavalry, are the best unit I've got available to me right now. You guys should be able to fire. Fire there. Get into the back of those boys. Same as you. I'm going to let the Neoniskoi fight in melee. Okay, we've got the Prodromoi now. Let's go into the back of the Hoplites again. Go for the charge, boys. Let's go. Okay, that was good. Decent charge. I'll take that. Let's go. Let's get out. Get into these Greek slingers. They should run away pretty quickly. Oh, the Neoniskoi have gone now. I want you guys to get into the fight. Uh, you guys keep firing in there. God, this is the annoying thing with heavy cavalry. They're, they're pretty much slower than your sort of light cavalries. 
Uh, pr pretty much slower than your li than the light infantry a lot of the time. So let's break these guys. They should break pretty instantly. They're only Peltasts. Come on, cavalry. You've got to do the damage. Need to get these guys round the flank. Nianiskoi, let's bring you back. My two cavalry units. They're going to be highly useful. Okay, big cavalry charge over here. I mean, we really shouldn't win this because they had a lot more infantry. And a lot better infantry. But my Thorakitai have really done an absolute number on the Epilectoi over here. Really good from the Thorakitai. You can see, like, when we talk about these units, like, that extra one of stuff does make a big difference. Like, it's an extra, you know, 5% five, 5 damage or so. So, you can never scoff at uh, the difference in a, in, a, in a unit being one point or two points. Because in this mod, it does make a huge difference. It is a... Uh, oh, here we are. Look at that. That is perfect. Fire! Oh, my God. Look at the amount of... Uh, right, I think we need our light cavalry going after their light cavalry. Come on. Fire! Yes! That has broken him. Getting shot in the back. Right, boys. He was broken by uh, Cicel Peltaforoi. What, boys? Ah, uh, my, my cavalry broke there as well. Oh, well. And the Hoplites are damaged. This is a brutal battle. This is really close right now. You can see why we didn't uh, bring all the Boeotian troops. Because we would have uh, been uh, shredded. All right, get into the back of them. Where's my general? Rally! Ah, uh, my Syracusan cavalry have finally gone. And we have a single of the uh, one Syracusan general's bodyguard ready to fight. Here he goes. Okay, we've broken them. Now, let's get forward. Now, where are my archers and slingers? Dearly, I want you to come here. And I want you to be able to fire at theirs because we can't catch up with them. Kill those Boeotian Hoplites. I want you to go and chase them. Because, yeah, you are the only one that can. Now, if we come forward, and we'll come forward as well. No, not my general. That might be it. That might be us done. You stop with that. Come forward. No, not the general. Okay, you fight the Prodromoi. Now, this is just a missile a missile off. Surely we're going to win this. Fire at the Greek Slingers there. Uh, and yeah, you guys all charge him. Are we going to win this fight as well? Boeotian Hoplites versus Cicel Theroporoi. It's very close. We are on hard difficulty, guys, remember? I always put it on hard difficulty. So, yeah. Now just come back. I just want to fire. I just want to fire my uh, shots at them because we have more missile troops now that should be able to fire. Now you guys halt. Now start firing. You guys should do more damage. They've got their slingers, pelt. Yeah, one of them's peltas, so we should beat them here. Should be doing more damage. Yeah. Good firing. Fire at the Greek archers. This is still a brutal bloody battle going on on this side. Oh, we've got our uh, cavalry back. Let's go. You guys. Oh, we finally broke them. Good. And we've got our cavalry over here. I think I'm going to bring my cavalry round the back because they don't do too well charging into the front of them. But yeah. Bloody battle. A very bloody and brutal battle. Look at that. Yeah, both of us have lost severe amount of troops. These guys are actually uh, still pretty happy. They're uh, fresh. Oh, 
I don't want to charge the hoplites. So let's uh, get over here. And I'm hoping... Yep, we should be able to break him. You guys fire over there. Where's the Nianiskoi? Fire at them. Where are they going? Right, now get the uh, infantry to come forward and attack him. Yeah, they should be getting fired at. Come on, fire at them. God damn it. They're very tired now as well, so I don't think... Oh, down the hill charge. Let's go, boys. Who would have thought that Prodromoy and the uh, Theroporoi cavalry would be the ones mounting the killing blow there? Oh, god damn. Don't come back. I'm going to speed that up. There we are. Fantastic. Well, that is everything, guys, for this video. As I say, please do comment down below your favorite unit out of the Syracusan roster. Um, and I believe I will be playing these guys when version 0.6 is announced, so please let me know what you think of that. But thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video. This is a victory fit for the gods. A day of triumph to mark with a song or two.